Picture this, a telescope so powerful it can peek into the far reaches of space, way past our own galaxy, the Milky Way. What it found, a ginormous black hole, a real cosmic mystery, nestled snugly in distant galaxies. This discovery is like finding a giant puzzle piece that doesn't quite fit our current picture of the universe. But wait, there's more. Mikio Kaku, a big-name astrophysicist, thinks this discovery could totally shake up everything we thought we knew about space. So, what's the deal with this black hole? What secrets does it hold? And why should we care? Stick around as we dive deep into this mind-blowing discovery and what it means for us Earthlings. In a recent monumental discovery, the James Webb Space Telescope has unveiled a black hole so massive it's been aptly nicknamed the Universe Breaker. This black hole is situated at the heart of ancient galaxies, galaxies so old and distant that they push the boundaries of what we thought was possible in the early universe. According to renowned astrophysicist Mikio Kaku, this discovery could change everything we have understood about the universe. But what exactly makes this black hole a universe breaker? The answer lies in its sheer size and the timing of its existence. This black hole, found in galaxies that formed soon after the Big Bang, challenges our current understanding of how such massive structures could form so quickly in the universe's infancy. Its presence suggests that the processes behind galaxy and black hole formation might differ from our existing theories. The James Webb Space Telescope has provided stunning visuals and crucial data to enhance our understanding of this phenomenon. The telescope's advanced capabilities allow us to analyze the light from these galaxies, revealing their age, composition, and movement. This data is crucial in understanding how these galaxies and the black holes at their centers came to be. The implications of this discovery are vast. If these black holes could exist in such a state so early in the universe's history, what does that say about the evolution of galaxies and the nature of black holes? Another groundbreaking feat that the James Webb Space Telescope has unveiled is the discovery of six ancient galaxies which have been fittingly named the Universe Breakers. These galaxies exist at the outermost edges of the known universe, a place where, according to our current understanding, galaxies of such age shouldn't even be. What makes these galaxies so extraordinary is their formation time. They are believed to have existed between 250 to 400 million years after the Big Bang, a period that, based on our existing theories, seems too early for such large and developed galaxies to form. This challenges the very timeline we've established for the universe's evolution. The presence of these galaxies suggests that either our universe is older than previously thought, or the process of galaxy formation began much earlier and perhaps differently than our models predict. The revelation of the Universe Breakers by the James Webb Space Telescope forces astronomers and cosmologists to reevaluate long-held beliefs about the early universe. It's opening up new questions about how galaxies are formed and evolve over time. These six ancient galaxies serve as a crucial puzzle piece in our ongoing quest to understand the universe. Renowned astrophysicist Mikio Kaku has offered a shocking theory regarding the recent findings of the James Webb Space Telescope. Kaku proposes that the mysterious entities within the six ancient galaxies, initially thought to be galaxies themselves, might actually be enormous black holes. Kaku's perspective hinges on these structures' immense scale and unexpected presence in the early universe. The theory suggests that what was once believed to be galaxies could be black holes of a scale far beyond our current comprehension. This would mean that these black holes were not only present but also significantly developed at a time when, according to our current understanding, such massive cosmic structures shouldn't exist. If Kaku's theory holds true, it implies that the physical laws governing the universe might differ from what we've known. It opens the possibility that there are yet undiscovered laws of physics at play, especially concerning the formation and growth of black holes. These laws could explain how such massive black holes formed so soon after the Big Bang a phenomenon that current astrophysical theories struggle to account for. Kaku's theory is more than a scientific speculation. 
It's a prompt for the scientific community to rethink and explore new horizons in physics. It challenges astronomers to look beyond established theories and to consider new possibilities in the ever-evolving understanding of our universe. The recent discovery by the James Webb Space Telescope has even more serious implications, particularly in challenging the cornerstone of cosmology, the Big Bang Theory. Traditionally, this theory posits that the universe started from a singular, infinitely dense point, gradually expanding and cooling over billions of years. It suggests a certain timeline for the formation of stars and galaxies. However, the existence of these ancient galaxies, observed so soon after the supposed Big Bang, raises critical questions. How could such complex and massive galaxies form in a period that, according to the Big Bang theory, should have only seen the early stages of star and galaxy formation? The broader implications of this discovery extend to our entire understanding of the universe. Suppose these galaxies could exist at such an early stage. In that case, the processes leading to galaxy formation may have occurred much faster or differently than our current models suggest. This revelation could lead to re-evaluating key astrophysical concepts, from how galaxies evolve to the nature of dark matter and energy. Moreover, this discovery could open up new areas of research in astrophysics, prompting scientists to develop new theories or refine existing ones to explain these anomalies. The James Webb Space Telescope's findings remind us that our understanding of the universe is still evolving, and there is much about the world that remains mysterious and unexplored. Many of these fascinating discoveries would not be possible without the complex technology behind the James Webb Space Telescope. But how does a simple telescope manage to change so much of our understanding of science? The James Webb Space Telescope is a sophisticated tool that allows scientists to conduct a detailed analysis of the universe. When the James Webb Space Telescope captures an image, the process of unraveling the mysteries of that image is intricate and revealing. Firstly, scientists examine the light in the image. The James Webb Space Telescope is equipped with instruments that can analyze various wavelengths of light, some of which are invisible to the human eye. This includes infrared light, which is crucial for observing distant objects in the universe. Scientists can determine the age of galaxies and stars by examining the different wavelengths. As they move away from us, their light stretches into longer, redder wavelengths due to the expansion of the universe, a phenomenon known as redshift. Scientists extract vital information about the galaxies and celestial objects observed from the data and images provided by the James Webb Space Telescope. This includes their composition, temperature, distance, and movement. For instance, by measuring the redshift, scientists can estimate how fast a galaxy is moving and how far away it is. They can also identify the elements present in a galaxy by analyzing the light spectrum, which is like a cosmic fingerprint unique to each element. This analysis helps scientists to understand the evolution of these bodies over time and their place in the cosmic landscape. Each James Webb Space Telescope image is a treasure trove of data that propels our understanding of the universe forward. Another important concept that helps us further understand the telescope's power is gravitational lensing. Gravitational lensing is a fascinating phenomenon in astronomy, acting almost like a natural telescope. This could lead to a major rethinking of our models of space evolution and the processes that drive galaxy formation. Alternatively, if these objects are supermassive black holes, it challenges our understanding of how and when such massive structures could form. Current theories suggest that black holes grow from the remnants of stars, which takes considerable time. The existence of supermassive black holes in the universe's infancy implies that other unknown mechanisms may be at play in black hole formation. This possibility could unravel new physical laws and deepen our comprehension of the universe's most mysterious objects. Each hypothesis whether these are ancient galaxies or supermassive black holes, opens up a realm of new questions and possibilities, pushing the boundaries of our knowledge. As scientists continue to investigate these objects, our understanding of the universe's evolution and fundamental laws awaits an exciting discovery and revelation. The role of black holes in the universe 
is a topic that captivates both scientists and the public alike. One intriguing theory posits that black holes could serve as a kind of information storage. This concept, stemming from the principles of quantum physics, suggests that black holes may hold the keys to understanding vast amounts of data. The idea is that information about the matter consumed by a black hole is not lost, but rather stored in its event horizon, potentially offering a trove of secrets. Some astrophysicists, including Mikio Kaku, also speculate that black holes could be remnants of previous universes. This hypothesis is part of the broader cyclical theory, which posits that our universe is just one phase in an ongoing cycle of birth, death, and rebirth. In this model, black holes from a former universe could persist through the cosmic cycle, serving as links between consecutive universes. This concept challenges the traditional view of black holes as merely the endpoints of massive stars, instead positioning them as fundamental components in the life cycle of universes.